Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Weather, sports, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to Emma Wilder. There is tutoring this afternoon. If you want to get some help before the grading period ends this week, sign up in the link in your email. If you sign up, you can go to the cafeteria for an afternoon snack. There is also an anime club call out this Wednesday at 3 p.m. after school. If you need any inf more information, contact Ms. Shim at the Student Services. Now to weather and sports. Girls Volleyball traveled to Southwood on Saturday to compete in the, volleyball, in the Volley Night Invite. The team played well in pool play and tied for first place in the pool, defeating Fort Wayne, Northrop, and Goshen, and falling to Huntington North. In cross-pool action, the girls played tired and fell to a fired-up Kokomo squad 0-2. Now, listen to Nelson with last week's football game. On Friday night, the Hot Dogs took on Class 3A, number 4, ranked Danville. Danville jumped out to an early lead, but the Hot Dogs responded with tremendous attitude and effort on every play. The Frankfurt defense held Danville to 28 points in the first half, one of their lowest scoring halves of the season. The defense also created two turnovers and stopped Danville on a fourth down. The offense started to find a little rhythm in the second half with two passing touchdowns. The offensive line did an outstanding job giving both the QBs time to throw and the receivers made some big catches late in the game. The offense will look to improve and build on their second half performance this coming week. The special teams were outstanding, nearly recovering three onside kicks and the punting was tremendous. Having several great kick returns to set up some really good field positions. The Hot Dogs host North Montgomery this week for senior night. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. The JV will be in action Saturday at Northmont at 10 a.m. Thanks, Nelson. For cross country, both the boys and girls team ran extremely well with a ton of PRs and season best times against increasingly difficult conference competition at the SAC championship meet. The boys finished third place with the first team all conference runners, including Josue Bautista Ventura in fourth, Angel Perez in ninth, and Chris Angel Angelus in tenth. Second team all-conference runners were Daniel Pritchett in 20th and Alex Lopez in 22nd. The girls stayed in the top half of the conference by finishing 4th place. Every single girl ran a season best time, including Karina Alanis, lowering her school record to 1927. First team all-conference runners include Karina Alanis in 3rd and Alexis Reed Gale in 10th. Both teams have a very good chance of advancing to regionals with these performances and will race sectionals on Saturday at the Tippecanoe Amphitheater. That's all for sports. Now to As Asusena with weather. Dance Colin, this morning it was very foggy on your way to school. We hope everyone got here safely. It's better rain in, in the day. Also, high for today will be 75 degrees, with a low 60 degrees. That's all for weather. Now back to your host. Picture day is near. FHS students and staff, haven't had your picture taken? Are you new to FHS or do you need a picture retake? Well, you're in luck. Picture day is October 14th. Each year, the Coca-Cola Scholars Foundation awards 150 scholarships worth 20 k to high school students across the United States through the Coca-Cola Scholars Program. Students need a 3.0 GPA to fill out an online application that requires no essays, no recommendations, and no transcripts by October 31st at 5 p.m. Eastern. That is all for the announcements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell to get more notifications. Okay. So we, we